Hello and welcome to Photoshop Icebreakers. My name is Natasha Polozenko, also known as at Natashka on Instagram, TikTok, and here on YouTube. And I'm here to walk you through my process of combining images in Photoshop. We'll be looking at layers, layer masks, and blending modes. So we can go from something like this, a 2D illustration featuring fairly simple shapes and forms, to this, the same illustration, but with a lot more detail, dimension, and texture. In other words, I'm going to be showing you how to use layers, layer masks, and blending modes to really make your illustrations pop. Okay, so let's open up Photoshop. And first things first, let's start off with layers. So to give you a rapid fire rundown, here is your layers panel. When you first open Photoshop, you'll have this one default layer and you can add more layers by clicking this button down here. From here, you can rename the layers by double clicking on them. You can lock and unlock them and you can toggle on and off the visibility. Now, to demonstrate how layers are put into practice, I'm going to show you how to go about creating a series of shapes and forms to start putting an illustration together. So, drop in a sketch you've created onto its own layer, turn down the opacity, and up here, change this to multiply. This is what we call a blending mode. I will talk in more detail about these shortly. And now, to keep things organized, be sure to rename this layer to something like sketch, and lock it. We're going to keep this sketch layer at the top and create all of our new layers underneath. So create a new layer and navigate to the pen tool, which is just here in the tools panel. And essentially just start tracing your sketch. This is done by clicking to create points and dragging to add curves. You'll also see handles show up when you're creating your shape. Using the selection tool, you can manipulate these to edit and refine the look of things. Okay, so here is one that I prepared earlier that has all of these layers drawn out. So I know that this was quick, but now that leads us to the next thing I wanna talk about, and that is layer masks. Now, if you're not already using layer masks, stay tuned because this is going to be a game changer for you. Creating layer masks in Photoshop could not be easier. All you need to do is find the layer that you wanna mask. And side note, a very quick way to do this is to hold the option key and click the layer you wanna select. And then what you wanna do is create a layer right above it. Then using your cursor, hover over the space between the two layers and hold down the shift key until you see a symbol that looks like a little white box and arrow. And when you click this, you'll see that that new layer is now applied to the original layer. So what this means is that when you start drawing on this layer, everything will be masked to the layer underneath. And so here you'll see that I'm using a grainy brush to start to build up my layers. Feel free to use any diffuse grainy brush you like. Just make sure to turn down the opacity a little bit so that you're building up the color as you go. So it's really that easy. And you can also add more layers. This is extra helpful when you wanna use different colors and tones to build even more depth and dimension, just as I've done here. So this is how everything looks once I've built out all those layers. Things are starting to come to life. But another thing that we can do is apply images for even more texture and visual interest. So to give you an example, here I have two images that I want to apply to my illustration. The first one is just some ferns that I drew. And the second one is an artwork from Adobe Stock Library. Essentially, we apply them in the exact same way that we've been previously applying our mask layers. So to demonstrate that to you again, we basically select the layer we want, insert your image on a new layer, and again, mask it to the layer below. And you'll see that you're quickly and efficiently able to apply these images to your art. So you'll see here that I've applied the ferns, the legs, and the other artwork to the second character's top. Now, this is all cool and all, but we're missing one step, and that is adding blending modes. Now, blending modes are like magic. As the name suggests, they are basically like different ways that you can choose to have your layers blend in with whatever is underneath them. One of the best ways to pick your blending modes is to open the blending mode panel up here and scroll through until you find something that you like. So here, for example, I'm going to pick multiply and turn down the transparency slightly on these leaves. And that's it, that's how I use layers, layer masks, and blending modes to help add detail, dimension, and texture to my illustrations. Thank you for joining me for Photoshop Icebreakers. I really hope you learned something new today. Happy illustrating, everyone. Till next time.